Good morrow, my lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard. I'm Laura, and today I'm talking about a concert. As I said in my intro, today I'm going to be talking about a concert. What concert? The Palais Royale concert that I saw in Carborough, November 5th. So, Palais Royale are known as Satan's favorite boy band, juxtaposed to water parks known as God's favorite boy band. I was actually supposed to go see water parks the day after I saw Palais Royale, however, I could not find anyone to go with me, so I decided to stay home and watch Harry Potter instead. So first off that day, I started off doing my makeup, and I kind of filmed that, so I'm going to do a really quick run through of how that went. Um, Palais Royale actually has their own makeup palette, but I don't have that. I do, however, have the amazing blood sugar palette that Purdy Girl gave me, and that's what I used to kind of mimic the red eyeshadow that Palais Royale sells. I look like Edward Scissorhands. So for the Palais Royale concert, I drove to Carborough and met the Petite Royales when I got there. Deciding what to wear to the concert was actually super easy because if you know me, you know I like to make things to wear to concerts. Well the thing that I made to go to with this concert is actually this dress. It's a vintage inspired dress with a bat pattern and a cute little skull and crossbones pendant. The event location was really vintage and awesome. It's a place called Cat's Cradle and you actually go around the back of the building and there's this really cool like trellis with lots of lights. It looks really cool and really like bohemian and vintage and just really awesome and the perfect location for a Palais Royale concert. And then finally they came out and started giving us our VIP tickets. Guess what? We just got our VIPs! <laughs> Here we are with our VIP lanyards! <laughs> Once we got our VIP tickets, they ushered us inside, and as we entered, they gave us all of our VIP stuff. Everyone that's in the Royal VIP, you need to have your ID out.
the soldier VIP upgrade, which is the first tier, you pay 30 extra dollars. And if you get the ultimate VIP experience, the second tier, the royal treatment, you pay an extra $60. They gave the soldier VIPs the option to upgrade for $20 on the spot because the VIP didn't sell out. So some people got a $10 discount and still got the royal treatment without the scarf. So I guess the scarf was that $10 difference. I actually got the royal treatment and yeah. Let me show you the stuff that I got with my VIP ticket. First off, we got little guitar picks. It's a really thin enamel. I don't think you could actually play guitar with these. Um, prove me wrong, but they're extremely thin. Compared to the texture of this Zippo guitar pick and the Pali Royale guitar picks, this one's more durable, but maybe you could. They're actually really adorable. They have older pictures of the boys and comes on a cute little card that looks like a hotel card. Next is the scarf. It's more so a flag than a scarf. And I saw some people do some really cool things with it to do, tie in their outfits. So this is the scarf. It actually looks more like a flag than a scarf. It's really cool though. This is the flag scarf thing. And then the last physical item that you got was a poster. Here's my thing about getting posters at concerts. They're gonna get bent. They're probably gonna get really smushed, ripped, torn apart maybe. Depending on how rough the crowd is, your poster could be destroyed by the time the night's over. But part of the VIP experience was to get a poster and then get said poster signed. So, so you got a regular poster and then you went through a line and got the band to sign it. So one thing about the poster signing experience is that it didn't actually say there would be a signing. So with the VIP treatment you get a Q&A session, a meet and greet, a photo op with the band, the VIP guitar picks, your Palais Royale scarf, an 11 by 17 poster, your VIP laminate with the lanyard, and early entry into the show. There was nothing said about a signing. It's really awesome that there was a signing, but nothing in the VIP package said that there actually would be a signing. The meet and greet with Palais Royale turned into a signing, and this is how it went. We got our posters. We got into a line. The line worked like a conveyor belt. You stepped up to the table, you went Sebastian, Remington, Emerson, and they all signed it, and they said like, hey, how are you, on your way through. When it got to be my turn, I was behind a parent and her child, and I stepped up, I put my poster down on the table because I had nothing else for them to sign, and the poster was basically given to us to have them sign. So I put my poster down in front of Sebastian, and we exchange a little hi, how are you, good, and you kind of thing. And then he pushes the poster over to Remington and says, thank you for coming. Problem is, Remington's still speaking to the woman that was in front of me, who's telling him all about her child. Which is not bad. I encourage that. I fully encourage bands to spend time talking to their fans. It's the fans that got you where you are. However, don't isolate one fan for another. If you're going to stop and talk to somebody, don't have another person just being waved through. The parent lingered long after Remington had carelessly signed my poster. And as I'm getting Emerson to sign it, Emerson says nothing to me. And Remington kind of turns to me and says, I like your dress with the bats. And I say, thank you, I made it, but he's already turned his head. He doesn't even hear the thank you, I made it, because He's on to the next person. So, I didn't really get a meet and greet. I didn't even get to really speak to the band. Um, I just got a signing.
was as rushed as any normal signing. It wasn't... It didn't feel like a VIP experience. It felt like a music festival experience. Like, you know, when, like, the monster tents pop up, or the journey tents, and you go and get autographs there. That's what it felt like. It felt like, get your two second worth of autograph and keep moving because we've got too many people. But, like I said before, the VIP wasn't sold out. Once you got finished with the conveyor belt of get your poster signed, you got pushed over to the merch table and then into the same line again because this is going to be the start of the photograph line. So once the last person gets their poster or their amazing paintings, yes, I saw people that had painted gorgeous portraits of the band. People had brought stuff to get signed just in case there was going to be a signing, and thankfully they actually got things signed that they wanted signed. So once we got back in line, the line started again, and they moved the table out of the way. It was all very efficient, very robotic. They moved the table out of the way, and then the band took their place standing in front of the Palais Royale background. Everybody gets their picture done. You know, people are asking for different things. They're asking for hug pictures and different things. So I'm like, what's something cute I can do? And on the spot, I'm like, I want to show off my dress. So I'll do a curtsy and have them sort of bow towards the camera. All I was asking for was just a simple, with their heads up, a simple bow. So I step up. I look at Remington, I tell him the kind of picture that I want, just like everybody else has done. He kind of looks at me funny, like it's a weird request, and then he looks at Sebastian and says, we're gonna bow? So I'm thinking, okay, maybe that was a weird request and I shouldn't have made it, but too late now. So I jump into my position, I stand between Emerson and Remington because that's the open space, and I attempt to curtsy, I stumble, and as I'm picking myself back up, and the boys are still starting to pose, Louise takes the picture. So my picture turned out like this. I gotta say, it's not really the best. Emerson's hands are kind of blurred. We all look really clueless, and I'm doing this awkward, I just kind of fell look. Like, I'm, I'm half smiling, because I know they're about to take the picture, but I know I just almost fell, and I'm not even sure if you're getting my feet in the picture, that kind of thing. So, obviously it's not the worst picture, but it's not as good as I imagined it to be. Other people did get really great pictures, and a couple of people got kind of blurry pictures, and then we got a group photo done. I actually really liked the picture of me in the group photo, however... One of the girls' eyes were closed. The photographer didn't catch that. So I went in, I photoshopped it, I took her solo picture and edited her eyes in, and it turned out like this. So after we got the pictures done, we were asked to go stand at the barricade by the stage. Before they let anyone else in, they actually started the Q&A session. The Q&A session was at most 20 minutes, if that, it was really short. It was cut short because we were 30 minutes late and there were people outside with general admission tickets that wanted to come in. Yeah. How are you today? I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Aww. I'm sorry. Yeah, leave me for that long. <laughs> I know, I understand that one. I get two bottles of gin. <laughs> What's a song like Morning Light? So you're saying all the songs we've wrote since Morning Light has not been beautiful? Shut <laughs> fire? Yeah, he's being an asshole. To honestly answer that, um, Next time. I think we're in like, well, personally, I don't know, I can speak for all this. We're in a really angry stage in our lives. You know? <laughs> we want to destroy things! Yeah. <laughs>
So the Q&A was cut short, a few questions were answered, and I know the VIP experience was different for everyone, and there are people that absolutely had the best time of their life, and I'm so glad that they did. I'm not saying anything against it, I'm not saying anything against the time that they had, or even really saying that it was a bad time. I'm just saying that things could have been done differently. I know it was all because of a time constraint, but... I don't know, I just left the VIP experience feeling like it wasn't a VIP experience. So once the show started, we had three opening bands. All three opening bands were absolutely mind-blowing. All of them had very strong female leads with fantastic vocals. And I'm just going to pop in some videos here of those different bands. I'll probably cut their sound because it's really loud and distorted and I'll just throw in some light music or no music at all. But just so you can get a good idea of the presence that all three of these female lead vocals had on stage. The bands were absolutely wonderful. I will include their info down below as well as the Palais Royale info and everything else to go along with this video. has a fantastic stage presence. In the Q&A, they said they weren't going to be back in America for like five years unless they play a specific show in March. I do encourage you to go see them perform because their stage show is always amazing. The boys are actually extremely talented and their music sounds wonderful. And that's why I actually went, because I knew that they had a great stage presence. I've seen them play twice before. I saw them at Warp Tour, and I saw them at Carolina Rebellion. So I knew I was in for a good show, and I was in for a longer set than what I'd seen at festivals. So that was worth the money that I spent on VIP and the regular general admission, because it's an amazing show. And with that, they did not disappoint. I'm going to throw in some clips from the show so you can see some of the really energetic movements and just a glimpse at how great the show actually was. Do you guys know a song called Death Dance? Yeah! 
Because we're not fucking playing, okay.
The performances from all the bands were absolutely wonderful. The only complaint I have with the actual show is that the lights were extremely dark. And I don't mean like the lights all around because I know that's supposed to be dark. But the stage lights themselves were super dark. And the only time anyone got like really good pictures unless they had a really good camera was when we all had our flashlights out pointing them towards the stage. Which was about once with every band. After the concert, I actually got to take another picture with Sebastian, and this time it was my fault that my face looks like that. I did this really stupid grin again, but it was because the phone that we were taking the picture with stalled, and because it was trying to do flash, it stalled, and I was going, did it take? And my face is doing that thing again. So this is that picture. And then finally, the last picture taken with someone was with Austin, and I actually look decent in this picture. So that was my Palais Royale VIP experience slash concert experience. Overall, it was a great concert. It was a nice experience. I really enjoyed meeting the Petite Royales for the first time, and honestly, I would go see Palais Royale again. I'm not sure that I would invest in a VIP experience the next time. So yeah, that was my Palais Royale experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you come around again soon. Say bye. <laughs> bye. Hello, my lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard. I'm Laura, and tonight, I'm at the Palais Royale concert. I suddenly forgot my intro. Forgot what I say, forgot what I do. Um... That. Okay. And... <clears throat> and because we... What do you want? And I saw some really... What concert? The... That one. As I said in my intro tonight... Can you not do that out there? Welcome back, Bruce. You know, I've always wanted to cosplay Bellatrix from Harry Potter. Just a random fact. Blah, 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 blah. So, like stage presence. To tie their outfits in. Really, Phoenix, you have to make all that noise? <coughs> Concern. But just so you can get a real. Phoenix. Phoenix. That happened in Carborough on Febu February. Laura, where are you? What are you doing? What month is it? What year is it? I don't know. I'm just, I'm not. Whoa! <laughs> Intruder!